All right, we'll start over here with the the reigning player of the year in the SIAC. Uh, you're going to get your, your – I know Jamarcus is important to you. I know he's a, a friend and a mentor. He's looking to be back this year as well. Uh, there's friends. There's competition. Like, how, how do you approach that this season? Uh, you know, we just go in every day and work as hard as we, as we can. Uh, the ultimate goal is, um, like Coach Slater said, the guy who gets the job done. So, you know, we don't – I, you know, everybody talk about the competition. Everybody talk about like who's gonna do what. I mean, we, we want to win the championship, and nothing less. So we go in every day and work like we want to win the championship. You go on the field when it's your time. You get the job done, and, and, and that solves all that. Like you know, and whoever whoever is out there, you support the guy that's out there. You know, when it's my time, I'll make the most of it, and that's how that's gonna go. All right, tell me what you learned last year because I, I think we talked about you one time, and I was like. He might, Doremus might throw a 60-yard touchdown, or he might scramble and, and take a 25-yard sack. Like, you, you're really aggressive. You take chances. Yes, sir. What did you learn about that last year? Um, well, um, as the season started going on, you know, I, I, I end up having to, you know, focus more on being able to mentally know, what I'm, where, I, know where I'm going with the ball before the play even happens. So um, the, the biggest thing I learned was just how to how – to, know where I'm going with the ball before it starts. Um, pre-snap, a whole lot of pre-snap, and then making the right play, always understanding that you don't have to, you know, it, it, sometimes it's okay to just throw the ball away. Sometimes it's okay. We want to we wanna manage the game the whole time. It'll be an opportunity to make big plays, but you, I just want to, at the end of the day, have the team in position to win. That's the number one goal, and that's the number one thing that I learned as the season started to go on. I don't always have to make the big play. As long as I'm just where I'm supposed to be, doing what I'm supposed to do when I'm supposed to do it, eventually, that when it's time for me to make a play, I'll make it. All right, Coach, uh, your quarterback here got a lot of lot of reps that maybe you didn't think he was going to get last year when, when Ezel goes down. Talk about his development last year and, and kind of what you're looking forward to out of him this season. Well, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about uh, both of those guys. Uh, hopefully, Jamarcus will be back healthy and, uh, and be able to help us. But uh, Ahmad made some great strides. Uh, like you said, you know, early he's, you know, he might have made a few bad decisions here and there, but as the year went on, he got better and better. Uh, I don't know if anybody know it, but he couldn't even run. Those last three games, he had a pull quad muscle, and he couldn't even run. So our, our game plan was to make sure we not run him, <laughs> and uh, and then we had to do some things to try to get get the job done other ways. Uh, we look back at film and say, if that's, old, if that's the Ahmad that we had this spring, he would have ran a touchdown. You know, we, we sit there and we look at all of that stuff. But, uh, that was just last year. That, that was that year. So it, uh, it's a good thing that that year is behind us. So we're looking forward to the, what the future holds. And I, I believe it holds something great. So I'm excited. A lot of new coaches in the league this year. Savannah State is back. Uh, tell me about the challenges of of getting some some people you play every year you talked about Morehouse know what you're going to do before you do it but talk about new opponents new coaches this year yeah that's that's always good though I, I like I like going against new guys which because uh, they have an advantage because when they go into a, a new when like guy go to Kentucky State uh, he, he's gonna have film <laughs> back five or six years, you know, but we don't have anything on him. So it's going to be a, a tremendous challenge for us to get ready for them. But at the same time, he still had an experience going against us. So that's uh, that's always a good thing, too, because uh, we are multiple in what we do. Uh, there are some things that we're consistent in what we do, but that we're not... Uh, I would like to think that we are not as predictable as you know people want to think that we are. All right, let me go down here to the defense. Man, you guys, first game, Alabama State, last year, you had that one. You had it, and it, it kind of got away from you at the, at the end. Uh, tell me about how exciting uh, opening up the season with Alabama State is. Uh, it's going to be really exciting, but like Coach said, just finishing. We didn't finish over in overtime, you know, and uh, and that's just all we got to do is finish and put those guys in, put the right people in at the right time so we can help the team finish. It's all a team effort, so we all going to come together. And that, that vibe type started in, 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 um, in spring. 
So we just gonna carry it over to the season. Just you know, you know, like Coach said, to be successful, you gotta fail sometimes, and when we did that, and that's it. <laughs> so we we ready to just get better on September 7th. You're going to welcome some new teams, some new coaches to the shed this year. What is that experience going to be like? Oh, it's 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 tough to play in Tuskegee. I ain't lost that many times in Tuskegee at home, but. Uh, they'll see when they get there. The shed, they be there before we arrive, so they'll see. <laughs> the shed's something different. It's a different tradition.